In this question, a ball hits a wall and rebounds, and we have to find expressions for the average force and the loss of kinetic energy. I have drawn a sketch of the situation here, including U and V. Let's start by finding the loss of kinetic energy. Loss in kinetic energy is equal to the kinetic energy before the collision minus the kinetic energy after the collision. I named the kinetic energy before the collision EU, and the kinetic energy after the collision, EV. Using this equation from subtopic 2.3, where EK is kinetic energy, M is mass, and V is speed, we can substitute into this expression. So we get 1 half M times U squared, where U is the speed before the collision, minus 1 half MV squared, where V is the speed after the collision. Factorizing 1 half m, we get 1 half m times parentheses u squared minus v squared, which can be written as m times u squared minus v squared over 2, which is the loss in kinetic energy. Next, let's work with the average force. We will start by using this equation from subtopic 2.4, where f is force, delta p is change in momentum, and delta t is change in time. So then we can write f is equal to, and using this equation, also from subtopic 2.4, I will replace delta p by m times delta v. So I get m times delta v over delta t. It's important to note here that delta v is not change in speed, but change in velocity. Change in velocity is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity. If we take the final velocity of the ball after the collision to be v, then we get m times v minus the initial velocity. Now the speed before the collision is u. However, since this speed is in the opposite direction as v, if I want to write the initial velocity, I can represent it by negative u, again, since it's in the opposite direction to v, and we are talking about velocities. So here I will write minus u. Since the duration of the collision is given to be capital T, delta t, the change in time, is t. v minus negative u is equal to v plus u, or u plus v. So I get f is equal to m times u plus v over capital T. Therefore, the answer to this question is A.